complete ROM review. So here we have today Moto widgets, Moto camera and my wave gallery application which is from my wave 4.0 and this is from Motorola devices and previously I did review of the MIUI ported application and Samsung ported applications and really thanks to builders, developers, whatever you say, really thanks to them for doing this kind of great things. Now I am going to show you Moto widget, Moto camera and my UI gallery application. Just select and install one by one and I am using here the CR Droid ROM which is based on Android 13. So don't worry about Android 13 and Android 12, Android 11. You guys can install this on Android 11, Android 12, and 12.1, and of course Android 13. I'm showing right now. I previously tested it on a Pixel Experience ROM, which is which was also based on Android 13. So don't worry about that. It will work. So just select the file and tap on it and install one by one just like normal APKs. So where is the APKs? Let me show you guys. And here is the gallery application. Just grant the permission. And here is the permission. Now get back. And it's updated successfully. So no issues with that. And it will take some time to load your photos if you have the photos on your SD card and internal storage. And then we have the widget, Moto Camera and Moto Widget. So here is the Moto Camera. You guys can see. Just open it. And this is the user interface. And you guys can see this is a problem with uh, 1080p or actually this is a 720p display that means not full HD plus display that's why we are facing that problem but you guys can uh, still you guys can use that camera to capture photos and we have video option as well just provide the permission and you're good to go and here you guys can see it's working fine and you guys can enable the torch then we have the HD option full HD and HD you guys just can be able to select and if you face this problem just open it again and it will work again no problem with that and here we have the photos videos and some settings you guys can check according to choice and test you guys can do efficient videos and stabilization which will not work because we don't have support uh, for uh, stabilization and watermark and which is really cool thing and device watermark is perfectly working and let me type 80 and that means one tech so let's get back and let me capture photos just click here and it can capture photos and if you face problem like this then just swipe camera modes and it will work again and you, you will be able to see your photos in a uh, gallery application and here is that and let me show you the watermark is working fine on the bottom watermark is here so here is the watermark I think you guys cannot see here here is the watermark here is the watermark you guys can see short on Redmi 7 and on the left side you guys will get Motorola logo as it is ported from Motorola devices so that's it and now let me open the photos uh, from my UI4 and you guys can see it will take some time to uh, load your photos then it will work perfectly no issues now let's talk about the Motorola widgets does it work or not just go to uh, white widget section and scroll down and you will get uh, the motor widget option and five widgets are here and the which are clock widgets you guys can accord e easily use this widgets just press and hold and go to your home screen let me show you again first of all let me place it here you guys can do customization according to your choice just click on the edit button 
and per provide permission digital and an analog clock which, which is uh, important for you just enable that one and you can easily use that one and weather location can be added if you have the permission then and app info and that's it so this is how you guys can easily use the applications of Moto UI and I will provide another one which is uh, Moto UI dialer uh, which will be grateful for those people who actually want the uh, call recorder in dialer so wait for that root user and non root user both versions available so thank you for watching